Rubs are simply where deer primarily use their antlers to remove the bark from a tree and more importantly, deposit a scent on the tree. No one knows exactly what scent they're depositing and what communication is occurring there, but based on a huge amount of research by me and others, we believe we understand a bit more about rubs than a shiny tree in the timber. Does often approach rubs and smell them or lick them, whether they're just receiving information or leaving information is not known. Small rubs, half inch, inch or so in diameter, right in the center of the area that was rubbed, are rarely re-rubbed. It's kind of a one-time use only, but they can still be a great sign. You go to a field edge and there's 50 rubs back in the timber, 20 yards, a bunch of saplings there. That's an excellent indicator that's a staging area, and a buck is spending a lot of time there before he enters the field. Large rubs are what we call traditional rubs. They'll be used year after year after year, and that should be sending signals to every hunter out there. A really simple technique to monitor rubs, see if they've been used without stringing trail cameras everywhere, is a simple pencil. Pencil lead's actually graphite, it's waterproof, it shouldn't have any odor, just make some light lines up and down that rub or draw circles around it, just light. It's waterproof, so it's gonna be there even if it rains. And if those lines are removed, you know a buck has been there since you made the marks. Wanna go a little deeper in that? Make marks all the way around the rub? If they're only removed on one side, that tells you a lot about the direction the buck was traveling when he used that rub. A string of rubs, what's often called a rub line, is an excellent marker of a travel corridor. And those travel corridors are perfect places to hunt during the pre-rut when bucks are still going food cover, food cover, and just starting to seek does. They're getting amped up, those hormones are raging, they're making a lot of rubs, leaving a lot of scent in the woods trying to attract a receptive doe. So I use small rubs as an indication of where bucks were primarily during early season not one or two, I don't really pay a lot of attention to one or two rubs, but I find 20 or 30 or 50 or a line of small rubs, that's telling me it's either a staging area or a travel corridor. Large traditional rubs, you know, four, five, six, 10, 12 inches, is telling me there's a mature buck in the area. I have tons of pictures of immature bucks using traditional rubs, but I've never seen a picture or heard of anyone talking about or seen any of our video of a small immature buck opening up a large size rub. So again, rubs are just points of communication and once a traditional rub is established, mature buck, immature buck, does and fawns will all come there to gather information.